Now that we've seen the two-factor population model, let's explore the two-factor sample model and decompose for our sample the different terms in our model. The two-factor sample model will look just like our population model, but rather than use the Greek symbols, we'll simply use the Roman characters to acknowledge the fact that we're simply making sample estimates of each of these terms. So our sample model reads as the yijks is equal to the y bar dot dot dot, the overall grand mean in our sample, plus the a sub j's, plus the b sub k's, plus the a b j k's, plus the individual error, the residuals from, in our model, the individual scores to the means of each of the groups. Remember that this interior component is simply the mean of the group for the jth level of factor A and the kth level of factor B. So now let's explore how we are decomposing the mean of each group into these separate pieces. That is, let's ignore for the moment individual error and talk specifically about the y bar dot jk's, that is, the individual group means that we have for each combination of factor A and factor B. Let's start with some notation. For factor A, Gilman Drive is the first level, so j equals 1 for Gilman Drive. La Jolla Village Drive is the second level of factor A, so every term in La Jolla Village Drive will have j equals 2. Similarly, in factor B, the first level is k equals 1, so any term involving 8 a.m. will have 1 for the kth value, and 9.30 a.m. is k equals 2, so any term that involves 9.30 a.m. will have for k a value of 2. Now let's remember what the value is for the mean of a group. That is simply y bar dot jk. And remember the dot is simply to keep track notationally. We're acknowledging that we're averaging over all the individuals in each group in order to get a group mean. So the mean for Gilman Drive at 8 a.m. would simply be written as y bar dot 1 1. 1 and 1 here refer to Gilman Drive at 8 a.m. Gilman Drive at 9.30 a.m. simply increments the kth term, so y bar dot 1 2. In a similar fashion, La Jolla Village Drive at 8 a.m. increments the j term, so y bar dot 2 1. And finally, La Jolla Village Drive at 9.30 a.m. is simply y bar dot 2 2. Notice that using this notation, we're simply picking out which sample mean we're discussing. And these are the sample means we found before. There's nothing special about finding these. If you use jump and just use the distribution platform for any of these individual groups, those are simply the means you would find. The purpose of doing our linear model is that we'll decompose these means into the separate components, the components that will allow us to test the overall effect of each factor, plus the interaction between factors, the degree to which there's some unique effect in certain combinations. Let's go forward to the factorial plot and I'll label each of the different points. First, for Gilman Drive, we have at 8 a.m., y bar dot 1 1 is equal to 670 seconds. At 9.30 a.m., y bar dot 1 2, 686. For La Jolla Village Drive, right, the second level of our route is y bar dot 2 1 at 8.45. And finally, at 9.30, y bar dot 2 2 with 764 seconds. So these are the means that our two-factor linear model will decompose. And let's not forget the reason for decomposing the means. By separating out the individual contributions of each of these components, we'll be able to test the contribution of each of these components. And on the basis of our sample, we'll be able to say something about whether in the population there's overall effects of route, of time of day, or some interaction. Let's first start by for each of the different groups, writing out what this model would say the mean is equal to. So we already have the general notation at the top for what a sample mean is, but let's do so for each of the groups. So starting with Gilman Drive at 8 a.m., this model would say that the mean of this group is y bar dot dot dot, the grand mean, plus a1 plus b1 plus ab11. Each of those will simply be a value. So we're going to have to find what A1 is equal to, B1 is equal to, and AB11 is equal to. They'll simply be numbers. Let's move forward to Gilman Drive at 9.30 a.m. We'll increment the K in each of these terms. 
So it'll be y bar dot 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 plus a1, the same value we found before for 8 a.m. Notice that we're still in Gilman Drive, so the a term will be shared, but in this case, plus b2. So instead of b1, we'll be adding b2 for the mean at 930, plus a different value for ab. This will be ab12. For La Jolla Village Drive at 8 a.m., we'll have y bar dot 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 plus a2, since we're in the second level of factor A, plus B1, the same B1 that we found when we were doing Gilman Drive at 8 a.m. Notice that that is shared between both 8 a.m. groups, plus AB21. Now, this is a different AB term than any of the others. Finally, La Jolla Village Drive at 9.30 a.m. will be Y bar dot 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 plus A2, the same A2 we found before for La Jolla Village Drive, plus B2, the same B2 we used at Gilman Drive at 9.30, plus a final AB term, AB22.